Let's go, let's go, man. Let's get into it. So I wanted to make this video last week, but we're right middle in the NFL season. And, you know, I just didn't have time. But now I have time now to make this uh, video. And I just want to say this. The National Football League. Anybody who's subscribed to my channel or is a football fan comes across the video, most likely likes football. I want to say this right here, right now. The NFL will be so unwatchable in 20. 24. And let's just get into it. The NFL, with all these injuries uh, this year, are going to make rule changes. They're going to make rule changes to protect their star players and to protect the quarterbacks, wide receivers, and now the running backs. And let's look through the history of this. In 2008, Tom Brady tore his ACL against the Kansas City Chiefs to the point where the NFL is like, oh, my gosh, we just lost one of our star players in the NFL. We need to make rule changes. You can't hit quarterbacks below the knee. Okay, fine, cool. Let's go a few years later. The NFL settled us a lawsuit in 2013 of seventy of $765 million to a bunch of retired players who had concussion-related brain injuries and CTE. That got bumped up to $1.3 billion. Okay, so the NFL made – more rule changes then. Let's talk about 2017 when Aaron Rodgers broke his collarbone against the Minnesota Vikings. And the NFL is like, oh, my gosh, we just lost one of our star players. And not only that, Aaron Rodgers got injured that year. Carson Wentz, Odell Beckham, Brandon Marshall. All these players got injured that whole year. And the NFL is like, oh, my gosh, we can't have majority of our superstar players getting injured. So, you know what? Let's make a rule saying you can't. Uh, put your body weight on the quarterback anymore. So I don't know how defensive players are going to supposed to stop when they have a clean hit on the quarterback and stop putting their body weight on the quarterback. Shannon Sharp said it best: when big, when uh, when uh, big men hit other big men, things break. Oh well, quoted Shannon Sharp. Let's move on to 2022. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, erupts uh, erupts his uh, Achilles. And then not only does Aaron Rodgers get injured, Joe Burrow gets injured. Uh, Mike Wallace just got injured, I just saw. Saquon Barkley gets injured. Trayvon Diz get injured. And let's go up to the leading point of this year. Nick Chubb gets injured. Now, for all the Cleveland Brown fans who are on my channel, what's up? Y'all know I love Cleveland. I love Deshaun Watson. Love Nick Chubb, one of my favorite players in the league. Even in even with your basketball team, I love Donovan Mitchell. He's my favorite basketball player in the uh, NBA. But at the same time, Cleveland, I got love for you. But that Mika hit was not dirty. Anybody who's played football knows the game of football knows. You can't tackle a running back up high because he's going to truck you, truck you. And even if you wanted to tackle a running back up high, you're going to get called for uh, helmet to helmet. The only way you can hit a running back is below the knees, is at his legs. And unfortunately, Nick Chubb had a horrible, horrendous injury. Absolutely. But at the same time, going back to my point, the NFL is going to make so many rule changes in 2024, it's not even funny. And me and my co-host CEO uh, on the Unfiltered Sports Podcast every Sunday, make sure to tune in to get our thoughts on football. He was talking about how the NFL might be trash, but it's hard to stop watching it because he grew up watching it. And I grew up watching it too. But for people like CEO who think like this, this is not football. What we watch on the field is not football anymore. Football has been dead for 10 years. You can't. My thing is this. I, tr I might stop. I can't even say that because I, I can see Roger Goodell and the owners having a press meeting because they – Aaron Rodgers, Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, uh, Trayvon Diggs. I know Jerry Jones is about to throw a fit on Trayvon Diggs getting injured. And um, Patrick Mahomes almost got injured last week. If Patrick Mahomes gets injured or Josh Allen gets injured throughout this season, there will be major rule changes. There will be major rule, uh, rule changes. Joe Burrow injured. 
The football is dead, people. Get over it. Stop watching the NFL. It's beyond horrible. The product on the field is horrible. It is, you can't play defense anymore. You, there's going to be a, a rule saying you can't hit uh, running backs below the, below the, uh, below the waist. So where are you going to hit running backs? I promise you, they're going to outlaw tackling in this offseason. I promise you, they're going to outlaw tackling this offseason. They're going to say if a player's up for five seconds and he gets tackled a little bit, blow the play dead. So say hypothetically, like say like, uh, I don't know, Nick Chubb, for an example, since I got him on my screen. Say, say like Nick Chubb, if he comes back, and I hope he does come back, say like Nick Chubb's running the ball and a safety comes up and holds him up and is trying to tackle him, the referees are going to blow it dead. Even though the even though the uh, safety can stop Nick Chubb and send them back a few yards, or even if Nick Chubb can break the tackler and get a few more yards, they're gonna blow the play dead because they don't want players to get tackled. Football is dead, people, and it's going to be beyond unwatchable in 2024. But does it matter? But does it matter? Because you, I don't want to roast you guys, but for anybody who watches football next year, I'm sorry. There's no. There's no excuse for this. this. The game is dead. Stop giving the NFL money to ruin it. Because you know Roger Goodell and these owners are going to make it so impossible to tackle next year. It's not even funny. Go look at 08. Go look at 08. Go look at 2013. Go look at 2017. I remember this clearly. In 2018, you couldn't touch anybody. That's why or the Chiefs and the Rams had a 50-point game on Monday Night Football. And go look at this year with Aaron Rodgers and Nick Chubb being injured. It is going to be beyond horrible if it's not even horrible. It's going to be arena football. Go look up arena football. That's football's future right now. That's the NFL's future right now. This is not football. It is beyond horrible what this game has become. And surely enough. And, and my co-host CEO brought this up. And this is why you need to tune into the um, Unfiltered Sports Podcast. They're going to have a trans or a woman on the field soon. And CEO said something last, uh, uh, last night on the on the podcast saying, I didn't mind female refs. Well, that's the problem. You didn't mind female refs. You didn't mind females on the sidelines. Well, now we're going to get a female on the field. Once you open Pandora's box, that's what's going to happen. Once you give them an inch, there's going to be a mile. And I know everybody in the comments, oh, RJ, you're all these things, and I don't care. The game is beyond horrible. And it's going to be a joke when a woman's out there playing football because ta tackling's going to be dead. Because if a guy lights her up, you're going to have all these simps on the football field, all these mama's boys, like, why would you do that? She's a girl. She's a girl. Well, she's on the football field. And if you don't tackle her, you're going to have little, uh, you're going to have some girl that looks like Taylor Swift running up, uh, scoring touchdowns like she's Barry Sanders. But that's, but that's down the line. Let's talk about 2024. 2024 is going to be horrible. It's going to be unwatchable. I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm, I'm predicting it right now. They will outrule tackling. They will outrule tackling this offseason and say, if a player's up for five seconds, blow the play dead. Even though the running back could break off for a 50-yard gain or the defensive end can send them back for five. If it's third and one and the defensive end has them and he passes the uh, first yard down, he, first, he passes the line of scrimmage, gets the first down, but a defensive end could push him back for three and make it fourth down. Nope, they're just going to give him the first down and blow the play dead, even though neither one of them is tackled. This game sucks! It is beyond horrible what this game has become. I... I Listen, I, I understand. I grew up watching football too, but this is not football. Do you let's leave out the 85 Bears and the 2000 Ravens? Can you imagine if the Legion of Boom or the No Fly Zone play today? They will all be on death row. Roger Goodell will execute them. They, he will have electric chairs for all these guys for the way how they hit people. And even back then, people were calling this off. People. And I made a video on my channel. I'm going to leave a link in the comments before I end this video. The NFL is a dead league, and I explain why it's a dead league, and this is going to be this is going to be horrible. I implore people to come back to this video when the 2024 season uh, comes around. RJL.